Hello everyone and welcome to another instructional video with the College of DuPage Library. I'm Jason Oates and today I'm just going to talk about how we can find ebooks and e-film from the library's catalog and website. So we're just going to do a quick look at how to do this remotely since these are the materials that are going to be available to us during um, our remote learning. So as we look here at the front page of the website, all you have to do is use this box here and type in a search of types of information you might want to be looking for. In this case, I'm going to be looking for renewable energy and cost effectiveness. It's always good to kind of search with main ideas. I prefer that over asking machines questions. So give that a try in the box and then click search. Once we do that, we get some results of the books that are available to us and the films, whether that be on DVD or streaming, they're available to us here in the library. You'll notice as you scroll through, an ebook does have a, a particular look. It has a little orange E and it does have the button for clicking on ebooks. So to create a list of information based on your search, I want you to focus your attention to the left side of the page here. I want we need to look at the, the limiters or the how to refine our search. And if you scroll down, we can see, pay attention to the section called held by a library. Always make sure that is College of DuPage Library. Where it says format, this is where we're going to make some changes as well. And down below, he says publication year. You can always limit your publication year to the last five years or 10 years or depending on your topic will depend on how old your information can be. So if we look at the format section here, we can change some things. If we check, uncheck the book section, and then check just ebooks, we can just see the ebooks that are available. Again, always making sure that it says College of DuPage Library is checked. So this is the list of 95 ebooks that are possibly useful to me. If we go under show more under the format, you'll see video here. Notice that the only video that seems to be available in this particular section is e-video, but you do the same thing for other searches. Uncheck video, go back down and check e-video. So you'll notice if you keep going down, the 96 items that I have in my list here are either ebooks or e-videos. Most, of course, as you can see, are e-books. All right. So that's how you might limit your results to e-books or e-film. Always remember that if you're doing searches. If we changed our search up at the top, we might get more results by just saying renewable energy. You notice what happens when I do that up at the top. Take a look at the left side. It has changed my library held by. So I have to check College of DuPage again so that it limits to that particular college. And then I have to come here and say, just give me the ebooks and just give me the e video. And that will provide us with the result of information that might be useful to us. Here we see some e videos and some e books in our results. If you want to know some more about a particular book, click on the title. Once you're in the title here, you see the book is listed on the right side. Click on View Description. Now, the description is useful because it gives us a table of contents and some other search language that might be useful in a summary as we kind of look around. Check Availability. We have another place to click on the ebook itself. And up at the top here, on each of the books or videos that you see, you see the site, link, email, and save. You can save links by clicking on the link, and I can save this ebook for viewing later if I'm using a research journal. Or you can click on email and send yourself an email of this book so you can come back to it later as you're kind of collecting resources for your projects. And that's how we might find ebooks in the collection here. If you want to get rid of a single book out of, you can look at the whole list, click 
click the X, and then go back to your results. So you'll notice, always remember again, help by library should say College of DuPage Library, and format should be ebook or an e video. And then you can find those types of uh, information here in, in the library. Unfortunately, at this time, during our remote activities, there is no iShare services or interlibrary loan services, to my knowledge, at this point. But right now, I think we can do our best with ebooks and e-videos as we're looking around. Now, another place to look for the ebooks and e-videos, if you click back to the library's main page, just by clicking the logo, and then here we have, we're back to the home page. Right here in our uh, coronavirus updates, if you can see the corona COVID-19 information sources, click right on this link here. And this is how we're providing you places to kind of find more information. If you click over here on the right, you can see use the COD library from home. And here we have a number of different resources you can use, ebooks, online videos, databases, other types of resources that you can use as well. So now if we go back to our uh, original ebook list and see we have, again on the left, held by library format, ebook and e-video, and publication year as we see fit. Remember, we can go inside some of these ebooks and see what's going on in there. So if we click on the button, it's going to ask for your library card number and last name, and then you will see the database open like this. So a number of ebooks have different interfaces, but in most cases you're going to find them with table of contents. <clears throat> table of contents, here are your best friends. Because in, in a lot of research projects, we don't really need to read the book all the way through from cover to cover. Usually we're going to use particular chapters that are relevant to our topic. And this might be uh, a reason to look through the table of contents and see what the details are. So if you use the table of contents and the index to kind of determine what's inside this book, you can do a number of different searches. You can keyword search it and a whole host of things you do to find this information. But remember, you can use books at the chapter level, particularly in research projects. You don't have to read them cover to cover. All right, well, I think that's it. If you guys do have any questions, again, you may contact me uh, personally or contact the library at large to get any help you need with your remote learning and remote research. Take care.